here is another interesting challenging equation. Have you noticed what is preventing us from having K just being on its own? The first thing you notice is the add 7. We're adding 7. So we're going to subtract 7 from both sides. But have you noticed that this is different? We have this whole lot K add 7 being divided by 2. So I'm sure you're thinking what we would need to do to eliminate or get rid of dividing by 2. Of course, it is to multiply by 2. So that's what we're going to do. So here we'll subtract 7 and we're left with k divided by 2 equal to negative 2 because 5 subtract 7 is negative 2. Next, what do we need to eliminate to help us have k being on its own so that we have k equal to something? Of course, it is division by 2. So the inverse of division by 2 is to multiply by 2. Now we have k over 2 times 2. So multiplying by 2 eliminates dividing by 2. They are inverse operations, so they will eliminate each other. Of course, negative 2 times 2 will give us negative 4.